Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Justin Mueller. In this video, we're going to talk about the top three apps every Forex trader needs. Now, I've been using these apps for a while and they have helped me tremendously in my trading, especially the first app we're going to get right into it is called Swiss Forex. Swiss Forex is a mobile app that a brokerage in Switzerland, I believe they're located in Switzerland, uh, the brokerage is called Dukas Copy. Either it's Dukas Copy or Dukas Copy. I think it's Dukas Copy. Uh, they created a mobile app that anyone can use. You do not have to be a client of that brokerage. I'm not a client of it. I can't even sign up because they don't accept US residents. But it's an app that anyone can use. And what it is, is basically a way for traders to communicate and see what other people are doing. So here we are in the app. Of course, again, I'm going to put up a video screenshot here so you can see it. We're going to talk about two things. I only use this app for two key features. Well, technically three key features, but mainly two. And these features will, I guarantee you, they're going to help you in your trading. And here's what they are. The first one is setting up push notifications for when price hits a certain region on whatever instrument you're trading. So here's an example. You're going to go to the top left and you're going to click on price alerts. When you do that, you're going to see I already have price alerts set for different things based on what I'm doing. But let's say I want to add a new alert. Let's say you're in a buy position for your USD. And let's say you want to get a push notification to your phone when price hits your take profit. What you're going to do is you're going to click on add alert at the bottom left. Make sure you're on Euro USD and make sure you leave it on bid. You can do ask if you want, but I recommend bid. It's just a lot easier. And what you want to do, if you place the buy on Euro USD for your broker, right? Uh, whatever brokerage you use, if you place the buy and if your take profit is at 1.10, right? What you want to do is you want to select it for the greater than or equal to sign, right? Because we want price to go above that region. And if it hits that region, we want to get notified. So that's why you're going to select greater than or equal to. And what you're going to do is you're going to select the price. So if your take profit is at 1.10, you're just going to change it to 1.10, change the numbers, and there you go. Now you're going to receive a push notification when your USD hits 1.10. Same thing goes for the opposite direction. If let's say you place a sell on your USD and you want to get notified when it hits your take profit, you're going to click on add alert, make sure you select your USD, and then you're going to click, you're going to change it to the less than or equal to sign and then enter in your take profit. Same thing for stop losses. Or even if you didn't get into a trade, if you just want to be notified when price hits a certain region for whatever instrument, you can do that within this app. This app has been a huge lifesaver for me. I don't have to keep checking my phone. And this is how I also swing trade is by not having to check my MetaTrader 4 account every five minutes. I just set a notification for my stop loss and my take profit when I enter a trade and I walk away until I get notified when either my stop loss or take profit was hit within Swiss Forex. So that's my favorite feature within Swiss Forex. Now let's go over my second favorite feature. It's called the community indicator right here. At the top left, you're going to click on quotes. So again, you're going to click those three bars and you're going to click on quotes. Here, you can predict where price is going to go and other traders will be able to see what your prediction is. It's a way for you to see what other traders are doing within this app. So it's a great way if you like to do a lot of sentiment trading where you like to trade against the trend or you like to trade against what other people are doing, then this is the perfect app for you. So here's an example. Let's say I'm just going to do a random one. This isn't official, but let's say let's say I believe GBP USD is going to go down. It's telling you right here that 36 people believe GBP USD is going to go down and 43 people believe it's going to go up. Now you can also choose how long you believe it's going to go up or down for. So here's an example. Let's say I believe GBP USD is going to go down. I'm going to press the red button and I'm going to choose how long, either a day, week or month. So if I think GBP USD is going to fall for at least a day for 24 hours, I'm going to click day. Once you do that, you've officially casted your vote and the number went from 36 to 37. You can see your votes by clicking the button at the very bottom middle that says social. You're going to click that and it's going to show you all of your active predictions and your completed predictions. So if you look down below here, for example, XAUUSD, which is gold, closed out at 96%. Now, within the app, percentage just means pips. So it says I successfully caught 96%. I made 96 pips on gold. That was the prediction. This was a trade a few days ago. I closed out at 30 pips, but because the app, I chose the day option, it timed out at 24 hours. So 24 hours from the time I predicted gold was going to fall, it officially fell by 96 pips. So if I would have held, I would have made 96 pips versus 30 pips, but I was happy with my 30 pips. 
So as you can see, this is a pretty fun way to really see what other people are doing and it'll definitely help you in your trading. Now there's one more feature within this app that I really love and it's called pivot levels and uh, you get to see different patterns that the AI within the app automatically generates for you. So you're gonna click on the top left and you're gonna go down and what you're gonna do, uh, where is it? You're gonna click on patterns. And right here, patterns is gonna show you common patterns in the market. So if you're too lazy to mark up your charts or if you just want an extra way to mark up your charts without all the hassle, then you can click right here. So let's say right here, it says GBP AUD. We are in a channel up for the four hour time frame. So when you click on it, it's automatically going to show you that we're in a channel. And as you can see, we officially broke the channel and so I mean this apparently this was an old one but there are times when it's gonna show you a brand new one so you can see what's happening live but basically just go through this and you're gonna see ones that already completed and then you're gonna see ones that are currently forming so it'll help you make a better decision so you're aware of what's going on so that's the first app Swiss Forex I'm gonna leave a link down below hopefully I can find both links for iOS and Android uh, but it's a completely free app you don't have to pay for it and you don't have to sign up for that broker so I really do recommend you use it now we're gonna talk about the second second app this one is definitely one of my top favorites as well this one has helped me so much in my trading not only for the simplicity of understanding when the different sessions are going to open and close even though this information is widely accessible online for me I travel a lot and it can be an, and it can definitely be a hassle when I'm traveling oh when is the New York session going to open when is the London session going to close and I'm asking myself these things and I have to google it and I have to do uh, time conversions and all it, it's it gets annoying, it's simple to do, but it gets annoying. This app pretty much simplifies that with a lot more features as well. This app is called Forex Watch. I love it so much. I'm officially a paid member. Uh, at the time of this, it's $10 a month. They may change it, I don't know, maybe they include a lifetime deal, whatever it may be, but I love it because of the simplicity and here's how it works. So right here, when you open up the app, you're officially gonna see the different sessions. So the New York session, the Sydney session, the Tokyo session. And as you can see right there in the middle for New York session, it says we have three hours and five minutes until the close of New York session. Right now, my time, it's about two o'clock, almost 2 p.m. So at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the New York session will close. And as you can see here, there's three hours and five minutes until the Sydney session opens up. Tokyo, there's five hours until the Tokyo session opens up. There's 13 hours until the London session opens up. And it's a very simple thing that, that shows you that. And you're gonna get push notifications. I'm gonna, again, show you picture screenshot of what the notifications look like when a session opens or a session closes. Now, these aren't the only things you're gonna get notified for. It's not like you're just paying for an app to get notified when a session opens or closes. You're also gonna get push notifications for technical analysis within the app. So just, I think 10 minutes ago, I forgot to take a screenshot of it before I deleted the notification, but I got a notification saying, USD CHF just hit the top of a channel and possible reversal, right? And you get these kinds of notifications. So if you're trading a lot, if you're an active day trader, this is the perfect app for you because they're gonna constantly update you with what's going on with different pairs and key levels. Now here's also another favorite part of mine. If you go over here, uh, where is it? To add events, okay. This one's really cool. It shows you all of the important events. And of course, red means high impact, orange means medium impact, and yellow means low impact. I only like to add the high impact news events to my calendar, and here's how you do it. So you see this one right here that says RICS house price balance? All you have to do is click the plus button, and it automatically adds it to your iPhone calendar, or if you have an Android phone, it adds it to your Android calendar. So you're gonna get a notification about five to 15 minutes before the news event actually happens. So I just added that one right there. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see if it's actually here. So here's one I added previous. Look at that right there, 7 p.m. RICS house price balance. It just added it to my iPhone calendar. So it's a very simple way. You can see this app is really all about convenience. And now let's go over to this other part. Here you get to choose what notifications you want. So I chose to get notifications only for the New York, Sydney, Tokyo, and London session when those open and close. And if you scroll down a little bit more, it's gonna show you that you can enable or disable notifications for news events, calendar stuff that's you know specified for the calendar news, and then technical news. So technical news is, for example, USDJPY just hit the top of a channel. You know, gold is close to a breakout in a, in a descending triangle. You're gonna get these kinds of news alerts straight to your phone. And of course, if I have images, if I manage to remember to take a screenshot, I'm gonna include that screenshot right here so you can see that. 
So check it out. This one's definitely on my top list of favorite apps, especially for beginners. They also have a live news option right here. I believe it's the live Bloomberg news. It could be something else, but if you click here to news, it's a live video straight on your phone. So if you have an iPad or whatever it may be, you can just play it and uh, you have live news right there. You don't have to go pay for a subscription. It's all built in. So that right there was the second app. It's called Forex Watch. Again, any links that I have for these apps will be linked down below. Now, last but not least, my third favorite app is called Crypto Pro. This one technically is not for Forex traders because this is all about cryptocurrencies. But if you do use the broker that I use, once again, link is down below for that. You can trade cryptocurrencies along with Forex, stocks, commodities, uh, indices. You can pretty much trade anything you want, really, when it comes to trading. And within this broker, you can trade cryptocurrencies. So if you do trade cryptocurrencies, this is the perfect app for you because it's a combination of a portfolio where you can enter in how much physical Bitcoin you have and it tracks the value of it. But you can also set up custom alerts just like Swiss Forex, but for the cryptocurrency version of Swiss Forex, you can set up alerts where you think uh, price is going to go. And if price does hit that region, you're going to get a custom notification, but you can actually choose what notification sound you get. So I choose specific sounds based on stop loss or take profit. So if I just got out of the shower and if I hear a specific noise, I know it hit my take profit. So it's a very cool app. So let me show you this. So right here is Crypto Pro. I don't really have much physical Bitcoin, but right now you can see that I have 0.065902 physical Bitcoin, right? When I withdraw my profits, I usually sell it for US dollars, send it to my bank, but sometimes I keep it in a physical wallet. So um, here it's just, this is not a wallet. It's just a portfolio letting you know how much your wallet is worth. Uh, I keep it in a different wallet, right? If you want to set up a custom alert, you're going to click on alert and then you're going to click the plus sign. And just like Swiss Forex, you're going to choose what? So in this case, if I believe Bitcoin is going to hit 10,000, I want to get a notification when Bitcoin hits $10,000. And in this case, Bitcoin is below 10,000. So if I want to get alerted when Bitcoin hits 10,000, that's the greater than sign. So price greater than 10,000. I'm going to change it to Bitfinex because that is the provider that most Forex brokerages use. And then for the sound, let's choose Apex. That's the one I always use for take profit. And if I'm doing a notification for stop loss, I do the one that says Boing uh, because it sounds kind of funny, but that's how I know that I hit stop loss. So if I'm going for take profit, I just choose the Apex sound. And if you want, you can choose to repeat the notification. So every single time price hits that price it's going to notify you right there with the same notification. And if you want, you can add a note and there you go. So there we go. If it shows $0, that's because you have to re add it. So let's just go ahead and do that. So there you go, $10,000. So there we go. Once Bitcoin hits $10,000, I'm going to receive a notification that it did that. Now within this app, they do also have news. It's all built into it. So for example, I just opened this up and it says the IRS just issued its first cryptocurrency tax guidance in five years, right? So if you want to follow a lot of Bitcoin news, cryptocurrency news, this is the perfect app in my opinion. Now let's go back to my portfolio really quick. If you click on your portfolio, it's going to show you what percentage of your portfolio is made up of what different types of cryptocurrencies. So if my portfolio, if I have one physical coin of Ripple, I'll add that and it shows you what percentage of your portfolio is Bitcoin and Ripple. So it's a pretty cool app when it comes to just tracking everything you have. So those are my three favorite apps, Swiss Forex, Forex Watch, and Crypto Pro. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, these apps have helped me tremendously over the past one to two years, and I really do hope you check them out. Let me know which app is your favorite, and hey, if you have an app that you're currently using right now that I did not talk about, leave it in the comment section down below so I can see it because I might make a second video for this, I might make a part two, and I might talk about other apps that I see out there as well. And yes, I am still holding Euro USD. It's going a bit choppy right now, but overall, I still think it's going to go down. Stop loss is about 10 pips profit, maybe break even. So uh, even if it does go wrong, hey, we didn't lose anything. So that's it, guys. Take care. See you next video. Bye-bye.